Disclaimer, this game does not depict any of the following objects or events. Licensed racing cars, post-apocalyptic soldiers, elves, orcs or magicians, gang fights, please do not panic, it's all gonna be hunky-dory. Oh, I love that disclaimer. Don't know why I always have, but... <laughs> Such a bizarre thing to open a game on. But why don't we get a go? Why don't we get moving? Can't hang on to this screen forever. So, welcome to my new Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. This is Soul Bubbles. Um, it's a game I've done a review on, and as far as I'm aware, I haven't checked recently, but um, I'm pretty sure my review of this is still the only one on YouTube. Um, actually, you know, I think there might be one other, but... <laughs> Yeah, this game's been out since 2008, and I'm fairly certain no one's ever done anything really with it, so I decided I'm going to give it a let's play. Yeah, and hopefully more people will find out about it, so... Why don't we get going? Alright, we've got a sleepy old guy, yeah? <laughs> I think he was supposed to be meditating, but... Um... Uh, no, he wasn't sleeping, it was esoteric meditation technique. Uh, yeah, um, I'll believe that. <coughs> Yeah, so this guy is a spirit herder, and he guides the spirits of suffering creatures towards serenity. Well, yeah, I guess we can't just abandon them. They need... I suppose spirits do need help, I mean... <laughs> well, you're a confident old man, I'll give you that. Yeah, I suppose you do need an apprentice. I mean, you got lazy eye there. <laughs> it's eye. Uh, yeah, I have, actually. Um... That is something I do want to do. Yep, um, <laughs> I suppose if I do the job for you it would be a relief. Um, uh, one thing I should mention, you're going to hear a lot of mouse clicking during this game because it's mostly touchscreen controls. Um, yeah, I'm playing a touchscreen game using an emulator so that's going to be a bit <laughs> tricky but hopefully it should be alright. Yeah, it's a great, yeah that's what you meant, a relief to the engendered spirits. Um, Alright, so we just got to take a deep breath. Now this being an emulator, I can't blow into the microphone. Um, this is the only time you have to do this in the game, so let's just press my microphone button here. Yep, that's the only time you have to do that. Hey look, there's us. <laughs> we got big ears. <laughs> We're also completely naked except for a scarf. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice scarf. It's all we're wearing. The guide of guides, the maestro of the spirit winds, the herder of the unfailing breath, the one and only inexhaustible psychopomp. Which is a real word, I still can't get over that fact. Yep, we're just a novice, we haven't actually done anything yet, but um... Yeah, I suppose we do need to learn how this job works. So we're gonna get a bubble, let's go. Okay. So as I said, most of this game is touchscreen controlled, so as you can s You only have to do this bit once as well. So the screen's covered in darkness, let's... Let's give a touch and drag, and we can blow. Let's blow this darkness away. Uh, you'll... If you can see, my main character, little character here, he actually turns red the longer you blow. And as you saw there, if you blow for too long, he'll run out of puff and have to take a sec to get his breath back. So here is a bubble. Let's blow it back to him. There we go, that was easy. <laughs> so this is the end point of our adventure, I guess. We have to get the bubble to this gateway cube. Uh, you can see on the top screen, which... Or I should say the left screen for us. Um, we've got a map to follow. Um, for the tutorial levels, the map is already... You know, the map's already uncovered. Once we get into the actual game... The map won't be. So simply press down, and we can now move. Look around the map. So let's just move over to where our bubble is, and let go of down. There we go. We found our bubble. You don't have to worry too much about the um, camera controls. Generally speaking, if you've blown a bubble, the camera will follow the bubble. All right. So let's start moving. And over here, we've got Stardust. This is basically our path marker, it shows us the way to go. You want to con there's um... Obviously it varies from level to level, but... You generally want to try and collect all of it for... Basically just to get the best grade for each level. There's no I don't think there's a specific bonus for collecting it all, but... 
you know, you want to try. Actually, there's um, one little detail I want to see. Um, you see these little flowers down here? You can actually blow the petals off them. Which I really like. It makes... I like the little twinkly noise it makes. But that's the sort of game this is. It's a very calm, relaxing kind of game. So, we've got a little bit of a corridor to blow the bubble through here. I see the arrow is going to tell us where to go. You can actually get a bit of speed going on the bubble with consecutive blows. Um, obviously, it's easier on a DS touch screen than it is with a keyboard and mouse, but... Oh, and here we've got our first example of a bit of wind blowing, pushing the bubble around for us. Sometimes the wind will blow us where we want to be, other times it won't. We'll have to fight against it. I'll blow some more flowers. There we go. Sometimes if you actually, um, when you complete a level, if you've blown enough flowers, it will give you a little title and call you a petal blower, which I quite like, but we might see that later, might not. Who knows? Let's keep blowing this bubble. Very nice graphics this game actually. Um you know, I like I love that is wood textures. Oh, another wind tunnel. Man, look at this go. It's one fast bubble. And you also may have noticed that the bubble doesn't just pop when it touches a wall, it's a it's not like a regular soap bubble, it's a magic bubble. So you can be a bit harsh with it. You can you know squeeze it and squish it and push it into things. Just not spikes. Spikes will pop it, but Luckily, luckily for us, there's no spikes in this level, so let's just keep blowing. There we go, that green flash just then means um, we got all the stardust. And right over here is the gateway cube. And our master, so let's just blow the bubble in. And there we go. Completed our first level. Nice. And it's three minutes and two seconds and got all 134 stardust. So we're at the we're standing at the foot of the tree that supports the spirit world. What is it like Yggdrasil? Okay, so the branches of the tree go into the traditions and rituals of the shaman tribes. So I think that means it's like um we're in the spirit world, sort of. You know, I guess like the real world can sort of sense the tree, but they can't access it properly. It's not really explained. Yeah, so we need to finish our initiation before we can actually go up into the tree. Alright, let's go to the next level. Boom. Also, I love this artwork here, just the um, pre-level art. So, yep, the stardust helps us find our path. We already figured that out. May I also show you the way to places you've never seen. Well, if you're playing the game for the first time, all of it's stuff you've never seen. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess. Alright, let's go find our bubble. You don't have to drag the map around like that, you can just click over here. That's a bit disorienting, so I like to drag. Alright, let's uh, start blowing our bubble again. There's butterflies there. Aren't they nice? It was, um, I really like the music in this game as well. It's sort of atmospheric and, again, very calming. I'm going to be using that word a lot for this game. And you've got a little side path here with uh, some more stardust in it. I've never actually bothered to count to find out how much the red stardust is worth, so <laughs> don't ask. It's probably like 5 or 10 or something. Again, you don't actually have to collect all the red star, you know, all the stardust. It's just for... Oh, we got an enemy. So this is a wicked spirit. Basically, they're going to attack the bubble. This one particular enemy isn't too harmless. It will just drag the bubble away. Too, not too harm, too harmful. It will just try and drag the bubble away. But just give it a tap, and there it goes. It's a flower now. And I, when it comes to enemies, I really like blowing the petals away. I feel like that's uh, symbolic. And here we've got our first attack. Oh, more. No, come back. No, 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 no. Okay. You see, there they try to pull the bubble back into the wind tunnel that would have undone our progress just then. So, you know, enemies like that will try and drag the bubble into hazards and things like that. Luckily for us, again, at the minute, the only hazard is just wind blowing the wrong direction. We don't have any actual dangers to worry about as such. 
Blow! Blow! Remember, don't blow too long or you'll run out of puff. Alright. Owls! Bloody owls! I don't think it's actually explained what the um bad spirits are. I've always assumed they were like... So we haven't actually seen any souls yet. So that we're Once we get into the game properly, we'll meet the souls. But I always assumed they were like spirits that didn't get guided. I think it said that in the instruction manual, actually. But come back! Uh, this, can be, this mouse setup is going to mess with me every time those things turn up. I'm just not accurate enough with it. But I'm going to try anyway. Hey, come back. Stop it. Bad owls. Bad. And we're through. Hey, we got all the stardust again. And there we go. We're getting better by the day, according to him. A lot less stardust this time as well, only 90. Alright. Once we've done this, we're going to be a fully fledged spirit herder. Nice. So now we get our first mask. So now we've got the tiger mask, which can cut stuff. I guess it gives us claws or something. Yeah, so blowing bubbles isn't our only power. We also get the masks. So, simply hold right and it'll put on the tiger mask. Then you can click and drag to cut through stuff. Just draw along the bubble and there you go. Sliced in half. You can also cut through the flowers as well, which is pretty cool. So, now that the bubble bubbles are still a bit too big for that little gap, so let's cut them again. And there we go. Nope, <laughs> one stayed behind. Yeah, the camera will track whichever bubble you blew last, so don't worry about that. You can always use the mask, tiger mask, to stick bubbles together. So draw from the centre of one bubble into the other, and there you go. They'll stick together. And now we can blow it into the switches, press both at the same time, and we're through. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see. Let, come back. Obviously trying to blow lots of bubble. You know, this bubble wouldn't fit... Th <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Tickle in my throat. Obviously this big bubble wouldn't have fit through that little gap. And trying to blow lots of sm small bubbles through the wind tunnel would be quite difficult. Because they'd all be you know, going back at once. And now we've got a new obstacle. Sticky vines. Oh, see, there's stuck to the bubble. We can't blow it any further. Yeah. So just use the mask, slice through the vines, and there we go. There's actually one little detail I want to show off, so I'll leave this vine for the minute. So if we cut through the vine, it actually has weight. Uh, I didn't really show it off very well there, but as long as this. V until the vine fades, as long as it's stuck to the bubble, it will actually weigh the bubble down and. You know, gravity will affect the bubble and pull it away. It's not very bad, it doesn't happen a whole lot, so don't worry too much about it, but yeah, it's a nice little detail, I think. Yeah, let's uh, follow our bubble. Let's have these little... What are these, like, skull owls? Yeah, so we can't tap them, they're too strong for that. But we can cut them. There we go, and we cut the bubble. <laughs> but we had to do that anyway, so it's alright. I think that's actually the only time you meet that particular enemy. Oh, we left a bubble behind. Don't want to leave that behind. Come here. Ah, there we go. Got more sticky vines. It's only the vines that have that um, leafy head that you have to worry about. The, re the other ones won't stick. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I figured that out already. <laughs> and on we go. Woo! Wind tunnel! This is a long one. And we're through. 
So when I was just doing my recording testing, this little section here gave me so much trouble for some reason. Look, can I, can I, that's why. Because <laughs> I'm not accurate with the mouse. I feel like it's going to wreak havoc with me later on in the game, but, you know. Uh, I'll cut a bubble down again. And we don't have sticky vines this time, but we do have these wadges of snot, I guess. I think you actually get these in um, some real life caves. They're like they're like bacteria or something like that. Just make this huge colonies of sticky goo. Saw it in a documentary. It was pretty creepy. But here they just stick up the bubble again. Hey, come back! No, 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 no! Bad, bad thingies. Let's get back in the bubble. There we go. There's a little side path. Um, oh, it's empty. Yeah, I think those particular enemies would have tried to drag the bubble up there and basically just got it out of the way for us. But as we can see on the map, because it's already finished, we do have a little side path here we could probably take a look at. Obviously, when we don't have a full map, these little side paths will be a bit trickier to find, but, you know. We'll be searching around for them, so it'll be okay. Get through. <laughs> Wind's a bit stronger here. No, get lost. No! My bubble! No! Yep, see, they dragged me into the hazard and now I'm stuck. But what we can do is so we use the map. We can scoot ahead. Get rid of these guys. And go back and get the bubble. Again, we can only do that because the map's already clear. Later on, that'll be a bit trickier. <laughs> and grab the last bit of stardust, and there we go. We are now qualified to herd spirits. Nice. We actually start doing our job. So now we have access to the world tree. We can enter Tier 10 gear. So let's head on up. Alright, so we've got um, seven levels here. We've got Tier 10 gear, Alt Jeringa, Tomokani, Quivira, Oyaruba, <laughs> Pemico, and Anirnit. So um, each of these actually. It's a. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Each of these is based actually around one of the world's seven continents. So we've got Europe, I think that's Australia, North America, South America, I think that one's Africa, Asia, and then Antarctica, I believe. So why don't we start off in Europe? Each of the little worlds has five levels in it. So let's go for the first one, Tier 10 Gear. <coughs> Where the wind blows. Mysterious. And now we get our other two masks. These don't need as much tutorial, so we've got the bird mask, which lets us draw new bubbles, and the elephant mask, which deflates and pops them. Yeah, so there's our first view of spirits, little blue lights. And we're their last hope of finding serenity. Yeah, so if the spirits go into the spirit world without protection, they'll just wither away and says so that says so they're trapped in limbo forever. Which, if you ask me, is absolutely terrifying. The idea of sort of... It's like death after death. That is horrible. Yes, yeah, so these little um, bowl-like structures are the only place they can actually stay safe. But as you can see on the left there, as I said, we got no map. If we try and go too far, darkness happens. So where do we get light? We get light from the spirits. As we blow them around, they'll provide light for us and we'll reveal the map as we go along. Yeah, this bubble we've already got just isn't big enough for the switches. I mean, look, can't push both of them at the same time, so we have to get ourselves a new bubble, join them together, and there we go. Ah, there we are. 
Well, I've been enjoying the trip too, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a big bubble. Yeah, we should make it smaller, shouldn't we? So pop on the elephant mask, and there we go. <clears throat> so actually, now that I've got the elephant mask, there's something new I can show you. Yeah, so as you can see right now, the spirits are blue. That just means they're in their regular state. If they feel threatened, which is basically near an obstacle, being attacked by an enemy, or if you try and deflate the bubble too much, so they turn into little orange triangles. That means they're feeling, you know, they feel they're in danger. And if they end up outside the bubble, they'll turn red and start panicking. You really don't want that. Yeah, I suppose these mushroom switches aren't quite as impressive as when we first saw them. That we've seen them about five times. So you don't. Another thing is you don't actually need to use the spirits bubble to solve puzzles. Any bubble will work. And any bubble that doesn't have anything in it, say this one. You just get rid of it with the elephant mask. So, um, the main reason you want to collect stardust is the more stardust you have, the more the spirits will glow. Ooh. And the more they glow, the more of the map they'll reveal ahead of time. You're more likely to come across the sort of hidden passages and stuff. So, there we've got spikes. As you can imagine, Bubbles and spikes don't mix. <laughs> so we don't want our little spirit bubble to end up in the spikes so the spirits will get stuck outside and well they'll be at they'll be at risk then. You don't want that. Oop. So just blow our way past those moving logs, not not a problem, they're no risk. Oop, crow. Yes, these crows act like those owls we just saw. If you, they'll grab hold of the bubble and they'll try and drag it into the spikes. So we want to get rid of them before they can do any harm. Also, you may actually notice the music in this place. It's very... somber, I think is the word I'm looking for. No, no, go away, crows. Bad. Don't pop my bubble. Yeah, just give the music a listen a sec. Listen to that, that is almost depressing. But again, that's the sort of game this is. When it's not being calming, it's making me excessively sad. There yeah, we've got a nice long wind tunnel, and now we've got to cut our bubble up again. So you can cut the spirit bubble into smaller bits to have multiple spirit bubbles. I, I was wrong, these, are, these little bone owls do appear again. Must have been thinking of something else. So you don't have to have all the spirits in one bubble, you can have them in two bubbles, or you, know, you could put all seven spirits in a different bubble each. Be no problem. Ah. Squeeze through there, new bubble. And through we go. Ooh. Actually no, this was the bit that during testing kept getting me stuck for some reason. I think it was this bit at least. Or not. I'll remember which bit it was sooner or later. And there we go. That's all our stardust. And there's our gateway cube. So let's send these spirits on to the next world. Hey, we saved them! They can now go on and enjoy whatever happens next. I don't actually know. So for all seven spirits saved and all the stardust collected, we got an S rank. Each spirit you save will then float up to the top screen where they'll float around and do a little dance. So nice to see them all up there just going in circles. Um, if by chance you don't save any, they'll turn up on the bottom screen and be all red and sad looking. So um, I think I'll end this part here and join you next time so we can continue saving these little spirits. Uh, I'll see you then. Goodbye.